Now my wife is here because she has a very special presentation to give. She allows me to carry it for a while. But um, we knew that we wanted to do something for this program. We wanted to make sure that whatever training that all the students here at South Piedmont Community College had, that it was the best it could possibly be. That when you're out in the field and you're working and you're talking to your friends and they say, how's your job? You're going to say, I love it. It's very rewarding. How do you handle these things? You say, I'm trained. I was trained at one of the best places I could possibly be trained. And the good thing about it is that the students in the future hopefully will have even better equipment than you have right now. So at this point, I'm going to pick up my glasses <laughs> and turn this over to my wife. I wanted this opportunity to, to thank all of you again. And we don't know who was in those ambulances that saved us, but they were angels. We've got our first two angels here, and through the entire experience, um, I remember seeing the truck was still in motion. That old physics of two objects, if they are coming at the same speed, will stop. Well, he was pushing us back, so you can imagine the speed this man was in also collapsing, accordioning, making like an accordion, the front bumper to the body of the cab of the car. And I could see all that happening and happening, and I was aware of everything. And the glass started, that safety glass is a good thing. Toyota engineering is a very good thing. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> um, but while all that happening, I don't know whether it's my voice or Jesus, but angels were surrounding us. That began within a few minutes. Y'all were there. And the people who were at the hospital, um, we were just filled with angels and prayers. And if you ever doubt about the power of prayer. You, you see on Facebook all the time, would you pray for so-and-so? Pray. Because if you're trying to figure out what prayer is about, this is what answered prayer is. So, go forth and have a wonderful life. And Dr. Barr, is this you? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And we're so glad to be able to do this. We hadn't expected to, to be able to do this, but when we heard, they gave us a menu of things that y'all needed, which was wonderful. And we went through this list, and when we got to the descriptor, they described all these things. We didn't know half of what these pieces of equipment <laughs> were that, and how they were being used. But when we got to that, we said, that's what we need to give because... The it was right. Of, it was uh, the piece of equipment said said there were a variety of things, and we said, "No, I don't know what we want to do on this." And we got about halfway down, and there was this one piece of equipment that said, "This is to train the EMTs on how to administer through the femoral artery." Which and is we what? saw that, and we said, "That's our answer." That's it. <laughs> Well, I cannot thank you all enough. Um, I cannot thank you all enough um, for for doing this. And this right here is why you do what you do. To have these two individuals be here because of what you are about to do and what others have done 
and to come full circle from the individuals that are very significant in why South Piedmont exists to be able now to give back and provide for our EMT program, I had to write it down actually, um, <laughs> the training tools to landmark and insert the catheter into the femoral artery that could have been one of those tools that saved his life. So I thank you from the bottom of our hearts from the college. And I have Shelly Jarman up here as well, who is the director of our foundation, to accept on behalf of the Sprouses um, for giving with your heart. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, they do not know, but we actually were able to bring the EMS personnel that assisted them and the reason that we're all here today. So if you guys can please join us on stage. Yes, sir. Thank you. Olivia? Anna Owens? Anna here? Yeah. Joseph Steele? Thank you. To the other two who are able to make it here today. This is the one that drove the car. I mean, that's <laughs> really a really big car. She was saying little things like, Would you please get out of my way, sir? <laughs> you can fill in some blanks about that. <laughs> what was telling me about this, and, and, and I, when he was telling me, after we were. We kind of lost four days there. Like she said, we were still in surgery. Yeah, we were still in surgery when I went to check up on y'all, like two days after. Well, it happened. One, another thing that has been shared with us is as we've gone back to um, Charlotte Medical Center and, and talked with the wonderful people in the trauma unit, and they're so patient with listening to us and talk with us, and they would come in. the. PAs and the MDs and what they say, we remember working on it. We were in surgery for nine hours that first day, back and forth. And um, finally I said, well, we've got to let them go. They've got other patients in other rooms. You know, like when you're sitting in the waiting room trying to find it with her. And she said, no, 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 you don't understand. We never get to talk to our people after trauma. And they, she just asked questions and asked, she said, I've got to go back and say this. So I'm sure y'all feel kind of the same way of, you don't always know. So it was with great gratitude that we were able to talk with the doctors. And now seeing y'all tonight, it's just the icing on the cake. <laughs> so thank you so much for going to that trouble and, and doing this. It's very special. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. I'm happy you've chosen a great career. And um, all we can ask is that you be just as good as these people right here. Yeah. So thank, thank you for doing this. <laughs>